The May USDA WASDE report was released earlier this morning and it provided a little bit of a mixed bag uh, for the corn market. We saw July futures settle the day four cents higher to 586 and a quarter. That was still down 10 and a quarter cents for the week. On the other hand, the new crop December contract continued to be that proverbial anchor, settling the day a nickel lower to 508 and three quarters, just a stone's throw away from that psychologically significant $5 handle. Now for the week, December corn futures were 26 cents slower. Keep in mind, we're right uh, near that psychologically significant $5 handle. We have not seen this particular December contract trade below $5 since December of 2021. So something to certainly keep an eye on into next week. Now, diving into that USDA report a little bit, the U.S. carryout for old crop was reported at 1.417 billion bushels. This was fairly close to the average analyst estimate. World carryout for old crop corn was also in line with estimates. Now, today was the first look at new crop carryout. That was reported at 2.222 billion bushels. This is well above the average analyst estimate. World carryout uh, for new crop was also well above the average analyst estimate, and that weighed heavy on the market. Now, today's data for new crop carryout will act as a little bit of a baseline and could change based on changes in things like weather or demand, both of which have been weighing heavy on the market for the better part of the last month. Yesterday's weekly export sales report was reported at 257,300 metric tons, or just about 10 million bushels. This was down noticeably from the previous week. We do have crop progress out Monday afternoon, and many analysts see corn planting to stay ahead of the five-year average.